Welcome everyone to the episode number six of House of Neo. Today we are in the south of Munich with our recently launched SUV Neo EL6. And today we are talking with Marius Kyle about the smart charging feature. Neo EL6 had actually a first version launched in China back in 2018. This time Neo did the next generation of the EL6 and it's arriving the European markets. But actually, although this car was launched only in May 2023, it entered already Neo's history, becoming the first car with over 10,000 units in one month. Neo EL6 is Neo's first model featuring matrix headlights and also intelligent smooth stop. But that's not all. Earlier this year, Neo launched the feature Smart charging in Europe. This new feature allows all our users in Europe to save up to 30% in charging costs when charging their new. To learn more about this feature I invited today Marius Kyle, experience manager of charging and vehicle at NEO. Marius joined NEO in 2022 as experience manager for charging and vehicle. Previously, he worked at Mercedes-Benz for five years, initially focusing on home charging solutions and EV powertrains, and later developing a global luxury customer journey. Hey Marius, thanks for having me here. What are the advantages of this feature? I might give you uh, three advantages. First one is you can save up to 30% of your home charging costs, which is actually quite a lot. Yes. And if you do that, you also support the grid, but also the transition to renewable energies, right? Because you will charge when there is a lot of energy supply in the grid. Um, the second advantage is actually it's super easy to set it up. I will show you later on. Just a few clicks and you are done. The Neo car will take care of all the rest. And the third one, which is also super important for our users who have already a charger or wall box at home, it will work with any charger. That's the nice thing. We do it all in the vehicle. You have to care about nothing, basically. And how does the Neo car knows, okay, now it's time to charge or now it's so expensive to charge? We use day ahead prices. So it's an hourly uh, base of specific prices. And uh, there we just find the cheapest hours. For example, for tomorrow, what yeah, are the sure. prices expected? Sure. I would say we, we just have a quick look on my phone. So what we can see here sure. are the prices for today and for tomorrow. You can see already last night was super cheap, around 15 cent per kilowatt hour. And now around lunchtime when everybody's cooking, it's usually more expensive. If you have an EV, it makes so much sense to have a dynamic energy tariff to also financially benefit from it. That's why we partner with Tiva. The important thing is they offer a dynamic energy tariff in all the markets where we also sell our vehicles, right? What I suggest now is to take a look in the car. How does it work after checking in the app? Yeah, sure. Let's I would go. say we take one of those EL6 and then we just go in to check out the charger. Sounds good. What's the process to to start the smart charging feature here in the car? Actually, it's super easy. You just open the vehicle settings, then you go to the area of battery, a battery because yes. it's about charging. And there we have this new function called smart charging. And we said we want to save some money, right? We want right. to catch the cheapest hour. So we will select down here the price optimized charging. And now there is actually one last thing that we would need um, from you, which is the time when the vehicle should be done. So you could say uh, 6.30 in the morning is the time at that the vehicle should always be at this level. The vehicle now identified already the cheapest hours of this location of this day. Mm -hmm. And as we have around lunchtime, electricity is kind of expensive. So the vehicle will continue later in the night the charging and you are ensured that the next morning at 6.30 it's done. Ready to go. Yeah, ready to go. Perfect. What is the outlook for the future? The good thing is all the things I showed you today are in-house developed, right? That also means we can use it for other things. Just to give you one example, the power swap stations that you visited in one of your previous episodes are also utilizing that algorithm already. So they will also charge the batteries when it's the cheapest hours. Yeah? And also for our NEO vehicles and our NEO users, you can be ensured that with the over-the-air technology, as we call it, photo updates, we are also able to push further improvements for the smart charging, just to mention photovoltaic optimized charging, 
and also CO2 optimized charging. So I guess there is this a lot. This might come in the future. Yeah, exactly. You are working on it. You <laughs> we are working team. on it uh, with Neo Power together. So there is a lot to do and um, it will be interesting for the users in the future. Yeah. Thank you for joining this episode, Mark yeah, Rosen, to explain you. us about the smart charging future. This was the episode number six of House of Neo. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one very soon. And don't forget to download the Neo app.